hello guys in this video i am going to tell you how to log in as system user in windows 7 in my uh, first video i have tell you how to log in as system in windows xp and i have done it through registry hacking which is very cool and a valuable trick you can do it anyway anywhere to it and you can just tell him anyone easily okay now just watch this video carefully <laughs> before watching this i am going to tell you i have done it every possible way to do that how to log in as system in windows 7 because uh, if you compare windows 7 to windows xp you will get that windows 7 is a very good and very complicated um, operating system than windows xp windows 7 is easily and can hack easily okay i have done everything just like five click um, shift key one two three four five then a command prompt will appear here you just type expler.exe -E then wait and watch uh, system user will appear but this is not a good one because you can't do anything here wait 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 it will take time here yeah, people see here this comes but it will not work good see I have just click in the windows panel see the system but when I try to open my computer or games or anything it will not open it will give you an error message see the server process could not be started because the configuration identity is incorrect check the username and password here is the login.exe and explorer.exe is just conflict to each other in xp this doesn't happen so this is how windows 7 is good than xp okay <coughs> let me log in first okay people and in the next step i have tried the interactive command the command line is something like this uh, 80 space 24 hour your pc time like i am this is my 11 uh, 12 so i will just put it in 24 hour at space 24 hour timing space slash interactive space cmd.exe so it will create a job in your command prompt and a second command prompt will appear so it will never appear to me uh, why people have i have seen so much of video that that prompt prompt will appear but it doesn't appear on me okay i have just freak it out so i have just searching and searching and found this where it go where it go where it go what time it where i get it oh so this is the software this ps tool dot zip you can download it from google it ps tool dot zip this is the software from this <coughs> you can access the system user through this tool you have to execute this one first ps exe i have executed it so it will not coming so just double click it and uh, agree screen appear so just click i agree and it will install in a system okay now i will tell you here see First of all, you will put this PXEXC software in any location you know about. Okay. Then open command prompt Windows R. Oh. But it's not freaking coming. 
It is not coming because I have done so many things to this Windows 7 and it something gets corrupted I think so that's why it is not coming so I have done it uh, so I have to do it this in manually okay cmd I have go to that location it is in c so cd slash now cd space what is that folder name uh, oh just it is in c so we don't have to give the folder name it is that's good now here is the command look guys I have just got all this stuff from the internet but this is the, this is the kind of registry hacking but I have gone to up to this win logon and the special account in the list I can't found it anywhere in the registry so this is annoying so I'll just leave it okay <clears throat> here is okay if you want to see this just watch it and here pause the video and just write it anywhere okay I'm just okay install PSEXEC PSEXEC from PSTool.zip I have done that then go into command and type code this PX PSEXEC okay PSEXEC space minus I space minus X S sorry not X and then CMD enter see this execute and wait for a while a second window will open command prompt window will open that is not opening couldn't oh I have to tell you something you have to open CMD with admin privilege if you if you don't do that so it will not open cd slash first I am something psc xcc psc -E space minus i space minus x cmd okay it's connecting and see is the second window will open and see here I am in my account and you have to do alt control del this system so this is my virtual so I have to do like this the alt control del so we have you have to done the actual alt control del so that doesn't matter so the task manager and go to the process and just kill exploit.exe don't freak out your entire uh, screen will vanish you have to do this okay it has gone and you have to write here that e x p l o r e r dot e x c e x p l o r e r dot okay enter and wait for a while And yo, system user is here, but I think this user is uh, in my virtual machine. This doesn't working properly because I have clicking the right key, but the refresh button is not coming because I have done so many things in this virtual machine. So I think it will not. Uh, this kind of problem will not come in. Um, the actual system if you will do that okay so this is the thing and if you want to log out then exit exit I'm just exiting this thing exit exit and thus and just uh, log off 
Okay, and when you again log in, uh, so you are in your personal account. So this is the hack I have done. So I have searched so many things, and I have completed the mission accomplished, sir. Okay, Yo Yo Honey sings. He is my favorite singer. I'm the best and my favorite rapper also. Okay, please like this video, reply, and subscribe, and all this stuff. Okay, bye bye YouTube. Honey sing rocks.